Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be participating in a draft where only players who have won the Stanley Cup are going to be eligible for this draft. So I've definitely done this in past NHLs and I quickly scrolled through on NHL 22. Looks like I haven't done it yet. Maybe I have, don't think so though. I could have just not added it to the playlist. That is an option. I could also probably just search it. So I don't know why. Anyway, if I have done it in NHL 22, which fairly confident I've not, then I'm doing it again. And obviously we have a new set of players to pick from as Colorado recently won the Stanley Cup, very recently. All right, so I'm gonna randomize the team and boom, we get the Pity Pens. All right, gonna take a wild prediction and say I get pick 10. Yeah, let's go with that. One in 32 chance, just because why not? Not even close. We got 25. Well then, should still have some pretty good players to pick from, don't you think? I think we're going to be starting the team off with back-to-back -back Stanley Cup champion, Braden Point at 6.7. Can't be upset about that. A player that, if I did this a week ago, at least when I'm recording this, wouldn't have been able to pick, Gabriel Landeskog. I might have changed my mind. I might go with Jake Gensel. He's making a million less, same overall, but he's a sniper. I think that would go well with Braden Point. Kadri as well. Yeah, I mean, okay, so uh, let's go with Gensel then. From the Colorado Avalanche, so we didn't get Landeskog, but we are taking Taves. I really do want to take Kemper because he's, you know, 87 overall at 3.5. However, I think I got to bring Flower home. 89 overall, X-Factor abilities. I got the Pittsburgh Penguins. It's, it's fate. It has to be done. For my next pick, I will be taking... Braden Shen. And I think we're going to stick with St. Louis and go with David Perron next. Just because that 4 million, you can't say no. 85 overall, come on. And next up will be Brian Rust. We only have one defenseman, but we still have 43 million left. So I'm going to take Kalorn for now. We should definitely start considering some defensemen though. That being said, when Timothy Jimothy comes on the screen and he is eligible based on the criterium of the draft... I have to take him. It's the rule. The man who got the golden goal in 2014 for the LA Kings, Alec Martinez. We're gonna like we're full of Stanley Cup champions. We have to win a Stanley Cup, and he might be the guy to do it again. Shattenkirk was able to get one with the Tampa Bay Lightning, and I think he's a right-handed defenseman, so that is huge. Getsy won one with the Ducks a long time ago, but Stanley Cup's a Stanley Cup. Welcome to the squadron. I was actually getting a little bit worried looking at goalies. I could be missing someone here, but I think the only goalie other than Jonathan Quick at 5.8, which is why I didn't want to take him, is going to be the LA Kings' Martin Jones at 2,080,000 overall. He's definitely going to be a solid backup, I think. It looks like defense are starting to dwindle down too, so I'm going to take uh, Yan here. 1.3. I honestly think I could wait till pick 20 and still get him, but I'm going to take Chara because he is under a mill. That cannot be turned down. LR11 with the Capitals, and we also have Jeff Carter here. I know the cap is, you know, 900k more, but I'm leaning towards LR just because I feel like he's a better suited fourth line center. Yeah, let's go with Lars. Tanner Pearson at 3.2 will bring us to about 10 left, and... We would have three players to pick, so that should be more than enough. Corey Perry, the guy that has lost three Stanley Cup finals in a row. However, he did win one at the same time as Getze with the Anaheim Ducks. So let's go ahead and take him. And hopefully we can get you that Stanley Cup, Corey. Hornfist won two with the Ducks, and I did not know he was drafted by Nashville. But now that I think about it, that makes sense. Because I do kind of remember him being a predator. We can afford the cap. Might as well stack up, right? I'm pretty confident we need a right-handed defenseman. And yeah, we could take Trevor Van Riemsdyk. Let me double check that just to be sure I'm not crazy here. So we have left, left, right. Okay, yeah, so we need a right-handed defenseman. So I am going to go ahead and take him. Stanley Cup champion, Arturi Lekkinen taken right there in round 21. He was a Great playoff performer. Moment of truth. Will we have any line chemistry? Okay, we don't have any problems. Okay, we do have line chemistry. That took a big jump. I mean, the second line... I'm doing what the computer tells me here. They want Kalorn on the... Th wow. So to say third, that's even... 
No, he's the fourth. <laughs> wow. If that's what the game's telling me, then, you know, sure, I suppose. Can I do anything here? I don't want to move people too much. No, I want to keep Shattenkirk up there. All right, we'll, we'll leave it. Dash one is fine there. It's not great, but could be worse. Net, we got Flurry and Jones. All right, let me just kind of fact check all these players quick to make sure. And then we'll start the sim. Okay, we should be good to go. Now the question becomes, are we a good team? I don't know. I don't know. It's always hard to tell in this game. I think we'll be all right. I'll say Pointer gets the most points. And he'll have a total of 85. Okay, and I'm going to say the team gets 45 wins. And we make the loss. So let's see how far off I am. Don't forget to make your predictions based on the lineup. And we are coming out of the gate strong here. That's all right. Uh, okay, overtime loss. We take those. It's one point more than we would have had for a regulation loss. Oh, no. Okay. Nice. I'm gonna be honest. The green screen has been annoying me a lot recently. <laughs> I just feel like no matter what I do with the lighting, there's always like a section kind of like over here in this area that will not go away unless I, you know, delete my face with how much I'm keying it, I guess is the right term. And then on top of that, my glasses just reflect it. I could go without glasses, but honestly, I, I'm not a fan. It hurts my eyes and gives me a headache. I could try doing this. I know I could get contacts, but I'm just not big on the idea of contacts. I don't know why. I don't mind wearing glasses. It's just inconvenient for videos because of the green screen glare. If I had a background that was, you know, worth showing instead of a workout bench, then maybe, maybe I w it wouldn't matter. Well, no, it, it's not maybe. It just straight up wouldn't matter. But anyway, we're going on a rip here. Wow. How many wins did we get in a row? So five, six, seven in a row. And then we lost to St. Louis. Let's jump into the new, the trade deadline and see if there's any Stanley Cup champions on the block worth picking up. I feel like I want to keep our team the way it is anyway because of how nasty we're doing. Why would you, why would you dangle that carrot in front of my face? Why would you do that? So Point has played 63 games and he has 39 points. He's a dash two though. Kadri might be sick for that second line if we could somehow manage to obtain him. Skaters matching the block. Anyone else here that you want? I don't really want to give you those guys. And I don't want to overkill it with draft picks either. Maybe I could give you... You're not interested in like future picks. Is a second overkill? Is that too much? It seems pretty fair. And I kind of have to act quick here. Alright, let's just do it. Propose trade. Oh, too far off. Alright. Okay, I see you. I'll add this year's fourth? Maybe? Wow. All right. So we're not even warm yet. I don't know if this doesn't go through. I don't want to do too much here. Two fourths and a second plus Shen for Kadri isn't sufficient at all. Wow. I'm not even getting, you know, sweeten it a touch. It is just straight up. You're ripping me off. What about two seconds? Propose that. Okay. That's it. I was, that was going to be my cutoff point too. If that didn't go through, I was already about to say, all right, screw you. But no, we got him. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Kadri slots into that second line pretty nice there. Gets a plus one still. So that is spectacular. Was Hornquist 82 when we drafted him or was he 83? How could he have gone down? Our team's doing well. Time to simulate the rest of the season. I think we are going to have more than 45 wins at this rate. Yeah, definitely. So I was wrong on that front. But I did see something... That makes me think that I'll be right in terms of the points. And by that, I mean player points, not team points, just to specify. Because that would make no sense. <laughs> but just, you know, clearing the air on that one. Will we get 49? No, we will not. An overtime loss. So we ended up with 48 wins, which is still a very successful season. We get a classic playoff clash in Pittsburgh and Washington. They finished 8-1-1. One, and one. We finished 6-2-2. Two, and two. All right, let's have a look at some stats, shall we? Braden Point. No, he got 79. He did lead the team, but he only got 79. Okay, so we finished second in the Metro with 103. Only one point behind the Hurricanes. In the entire league, we finished... Oh, wow. We finished fourth in the league. That's awesome. Okay, nice. And then Montreal... I actually totally forgot it was a fantasy draft for a second. And I was really confused, but it makes sense now. All right, so here we go. Top 16 teams did make it. And let's go and check out some player stats now for our team and the league as well. Pointer ended up with 79 and a plus 13. Kadri got 73 points. 
Oh, she got 70. Let's go, Timothy. Jimothy Gensel, 65. Bit of an underperformance from him, honestly. Perron with 59. Rust, 53. Go through the whole team here. And there you go. All right, so we had a plus 25 from Martinez. 29 from Yan. Chara gets a 28. How's it looking at the top? We got a plus 32 from Eller. That might be the most, actually. It is. Let's check out our goaltenders. So Flurry did well, Jones not so much. He still went 13, 8, and 3, but an 8, 91, and a 3, 21. At least we got a 9, 16 from Flurry. He kind of carried the weight there in the cage. Bobrovsky got the most wins in the league with 45, and he had a 9, 13 while doing it. Varlamov had a 9, 22. I feel like I've had him before, and he didn't do well for me, but maybe I'm confusing him with Sorokin. Because I know Sorokin for sure, but... I feel like I've had Varlamov as well. Anyway, yeah, we don't have Flurry on the front page here, but that's okay. That's all right. Still made it to the playoffs, and that is what is important. Defense, Kale McCarr with 85 points. That's not really shocking. Fox, 75. Hedman with 70. Theodore, 61. Mori gets 56. Let's check out forwards now. The Art Ross goes to Patrice Bergeron, 106. Atta boy. Drysaddle with 103. He ended up back on the Edmonton Oilers. Uh, Marchie and Bergeron both on Toronto. They did a roster swap. Wow. All right. That must be revenge for the playoffs. Patrick Kane with 101. Shifley 101. And we've got Kirill the Thrill with 98. Ovi with 97. I see 54 goals from Kane and Marchie. And that's probably going to be the most. Yeah. So these guys are splitting the Rocket Richard this year. Well, it's about that time again. Time to get swept in the first round. No, I don't think so. I think we have a real good team here. Wow, we did the sweeping. We brought out the brooms. That's a first. Carolina, they finished first in our division. And we take them to the cleaners. That was a convincing win. We got the Bruins here. And we beat them in seven. We're in the Stanley Cup Finals against, you guessed it, the Colorado Avalanche. They're good even when it comes to fantasy drafts, apparently. All right, you know what? Let's sim three games here. Come on, boys. We got this. Oh, no. Hey, maybe we don't got this. We can't lose in this game. So there we go. Oh, who's going to win? We take the dub. All right, come on. The pity pens. Will the team of Stanley Cup champions be Stanley Cup champions? I guess we'll find out very shortly. We get on the board first. Corey Perry, he wants it. He is out here wanting a Stanley Cup. He hasn't had one since 07. And he lost three finals in a row. And you get a tie-up here from Athena CU heading into period number two now. Shots are 12 to 8 in favor of the good guys. Kadri's going to score on the power play. And we <laughs> tie it up instantly. Well, they tie it up instantly. Again, Kopitar will not let us have the lead for very long. Kadri again gets another one. That will be 3-2. Pity pens heading into the third period here. Colorado season is on the line. And we get Gensel, the returning hero. Brian Rust, another returning penguin. Oh my word, it's out of control. We've done it. We've done it. It's actually over. Trevor Van Riemsdyk, burying one on You See What I See. And we have ourselves a Stanley Cup winning fantasy draft. Fire me up. There's the three stars. I think Kadri was worth the pickup at the deadline. And Flurry with a 925 save percentage. What a stud. An absolute stud muffin. Great run from the boys. Great run. Oh, wow. Perron had the most points for us with 22. Let's go. Had a boy, David. And then we got Gensel with 20. He had nine goals as well. Pointer with 18. Who led the entire playoffs is my question. We've got 28 from Kale McCarr, who I guess, yeah, ended up back on Colorado. I didn't notice that. Copastar with 26, Pavelski 22, and then we got Perron. That was successful. Here is the playoff tree. If you have other draft ideas, please let me know. I'm running out. <laughs> and yeah, that's going to do it, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you soon.